do you like Colombian men? What are your opinions on them? Ooh. That's the tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I attract toxic Colombian men. <laughs> and they attract me, shit. <laughs> um, red flags. Red flags. Red flags. Red flags. So, some of them, not, not all of them. Majority. Majority, yeah. Coming from a Colombian yeah. herself, like, I would know. I know mm -hmm. a lot of, like, mama bo mama's boys. Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been with the type that, like, they make you feel so special, so, like, right. you're the only girl in the world, and literally they're freaking being friendly as hell to everybody. Like, yeah. And they don't consider it being friendly. They're like, no, no, I'm just being nice. Like, I'm just, like, being a friend. But no, you're just, you're flirting, they're, you're they're cheating. Being yeah. yeah, I'm just yeah, like, yeah. Like, they know their sauce. They know their, like, mm -hmm. little pizzazzes, you know right. what I mean? To get you in there, and then you're hooked. Yeah, you see, me, personally, I stay away from Hispanic <laughs> men in general because... <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> okay, because, hear me out. I am Puerto Rican. She's Colombian. We know how, like, Hispanic men are. Like, seeing, if you have me, I have a brother. <laughs> How old is he? That's enough. How old is he? That's the question. I think he turns 28 this year in October. Yeah, I have seen my fair share of him bringing one girl, then like two days later bringing another girl. She definitely witnessed And that. like being on FaceTime with them and being like, hola mami, but like, all, like making them feel special like how Caroline yeah. said. And then... Oh, I'm about to go over to this girl's house too. I don't want to put him out there because I don't know if anybody. That's that crazy. Me. That's, That's the tea. Terrible. Oh my god, I would snitch. I don't care if you're my brother. I'd be like, hey, Shardy, like. There was another girl here like 20 minutes ago. Like, oh, you see, but that's the thing, though. If I just know that they're just like these little flings of his, right. yeah. I don't, I'm not going to get myself involved. Mm -hmm. But if it's like a girlfriend that he's brought around and like he's met, like they've met my mom and our stepfather and like they come to our family events, then I'm going to be like, I'll check him before I say anything. I'll be like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, do you care about her or not? Mm -hmm. And he's just. I guess he hasn't matured on that level yet. And I feel like a lot, yeah. some guys don't develop, like fully develop emotionally until they're like 35. Men in general, like their words don't match their actions. Mm -hmm. You know, or like they, their actions are always in the beginning and then they right. fade, mm -hmm. they disappear. It's just like, they get comfortable. Mm -hmm. They don't want to put the effort anymore. And it's just like, what happened? Mm -hmm. Like, are you content with the fact that, like, you have me and you don't, you, you have no worry in the world that you're going to lose me because I'm so, like, wrapped around your finger? Well, not <laughs> every, I don't want to say, like, every Colombian or every guy or every Hispanic guy because I, your girl's preference, are Hispanic men. Mm -hmm. But I will definitely say, like, I know you specified, <laughs> I know you specified Colombian men, but I mean... I'm sure there's some good guys out there, no, wherever you are. I don't want to shit on all. That's yeah, why I say it's, not, okay. it's, not to, it's not to shit on the whole male race itself, right, because right, right. I personally, like, I, oh, I'm sorry. I know a lot, <laughs> I know a lot of good guys that are in relationships that they treat their women like a queen. Like, I have a guy best friend that I've known since I was, like, 15 years old, 16 years old, and he's been dating this girl for over a year now, and they go on cruises together, they see each other all the time, he treats her really well, he, like, gets her... And it's not even, like, even materialistic things. It's also he reassures her of his feelings. He keeps the he, he keeps the same effort that he put into the beginning of their relationship as he does now. So I'm not saying that all men are yeah. trash, but most men just aren't mm -hmm. there yet, like, emotionally mature yet. Mm -hmm. So... And at any age, like I was saying, like he's 28, but you were right. Like some guys mature faster. Some guys are younger and they're more mature than a 28 year old. Mm -hmm. Like I was having, I have a coworker and he is in his early 40s, I think. And he told me he was just like, oh, I was, <laughs> I was a, a mess. He was living. <laughs> yeah. He was like, there isn't anything I haven't done. 
I'm like, oh, God. Like, I, I'm like, oh, my gosh, no, why? And he's just like, yeah, I wasn't good to any woman. I wasn't good to anybody until I hit 35. Is he married now? No. Because he's still on that. I was going oh, to be like, just <laughs> Yeah, he's not. I don't know. Like, he, he had children with this one woman, and he really wanted it to work out, but it just didn't because of their two personalities. He's really, I don't want to say, he can be aloof, like mm-hmm. very nonchalant, very, okay, this is what you want to do. Like, he won't really put up that much of a fight, but he cares. And he'll make it seem like he doesn't, but he does. So, I don't know. But I feel like a lot of men are like that. Sounds yeah. familiar yeah. to me. Mm-hmm. Sounds like something I've seen before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Just remember, guys, if he wanted to, he would. He really would, yeah. And I feel like guys, once they're ready, like in that state of mind, when they're ready to actually settle and give someone their all, it might not be the girl he loves the most, but when he's ready in that moment, Mm -hmm. he will be that guy, unfortunately. Yeah, but when it comes to, like, the standards of what you want from a guy, I feel like it also weighs a little bit on the women. Yes, accountability, make sure. Mm -hmm. But... You always have to like let them know that you're okay by yourself and that Mm -hmm. you like even if they aren't keeping up a standard you keep up that standard for yourself like I if I start noticing that whatever guy that I'm dating doesn't buy me flowers anymore or like hasn't really been doing that I buy myself that stuff or when they out purposely open my Instagram like views and they'll see all of the likes that I get Mm -hmm. I've done that to several guys that I've dated and Mm -hmm. as soon as they saw how much like I was okay without them doing that. I didn't harass them about it. They started doing it on their own and they started putting in a lot more effort because one thing about men, they're very egotistical Mm -hmm. and they're very prideful. So you always have to challenge them in that sense. That's just something that I've picked up along the way. Very true. Mm -hmm. They're very competitive when it comes to other males. Oh yeah. They want to be the alpha. They want to be, oh, I got the prize, but you don't want to make yourself seem like you're a trophy because you're not just here for a temporary place. You're here Mm -hmm. because I'm long term and you're gonna treat me just how I'm gonna treat you. I expect the same treatment as well. Yeah. And don't like lower your standards as well. Like if he's not getting those flowers for you and you really have to go out and get your own, like obviously love yourself and treat yourself mm-hmm. as you should. But at one moment, how long are you supposed to wait for that? Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Like you gotta put your foot down and show like if he's not the man, you're the man and you're out. Yeah. Like, There's always like where you know that something is no longer fulfilling you or doesn't bring you the same joy or happiness Mm -hmm. that the person once brought to the table because honestly I don't really care for a lot of materialistic things if my partner does do that for me cherry on top of the sundae Mm -hmm. but I'm more of a I need reassurance I need to feel like we're in this together that I'm not alone in the relationship that's what's most important to me so if you're not providing that it's like you're losing me emotionally and mentally and physically will follow right right afterwards very you and I'm I'm very similar to that you value the intangible things over the materialistic like tangible things like Mm -hmm. over gifts you prefer expression and communication and things like that Mm -hmm. I would say yeah Mm -hmm. I I'm very words of affirmation quality time together Words are bullshit to me, and I guess it's just because every guy that I've been with, it's only been words, and it's just like their actions never back it up, so it ruined it for me. Like I I can't trust it at all. Just like actions are key, like quality Mm -hmm. time, like physical touch. Like I need that physical touch, girl too. Like if you tell me something, I need that energy to be reciprocated to me. Mm -hmm. That those actions need to be shown because your words won't mean shit to me. Yeah. 